Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you finish, uh, but ladies and gentlemen, I have some terrible news. Uh, we have promised you a live demonstration of comedy wrestling tonight from me and my association that made up SmackDown. I, of course, am Don the King Donaldson. That's right. <laughs> I've only said that because some of you millennials haven't had your dad stand around to tell you about me. I was a champion from 76, heavyweight champion from 76 to halfway through 76. Now I have some bad news. Tonight, we have our champion, our champion, here to perform for you tonight. Don't clap, he's injured. So, so what can you do? That's what you get walking around in Lawrenceville with a tight t-shirt, I guess. So he's gone. But tonight, I have some good news for you folk. I also happen to be a talent scout. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you and your comedy quartery go through and make them make them up some them jokes. I'm gonna find you guys four, count them, four fresh new talents. And we're gonna have ourselves a fatal four-way because if that belt is vacated, it, it shouldn't be, so I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna put someone in that belt. Yeah. Yeah, how's that sound? Yeah. That's right! That's right! Tonight, Made Up SmackDown is coming to your town! Yeah. Thank you! Thank you! God damn, I gotta find some fighters. <laughs>
Final one, uh, you know, do you guys know what a heel is? There's heels and there's faces. Faces are good guys. Heels are bad guys because they'll put those heels right into your balls. That's, that's an industry term, balls are. Anyway, um, but for a good heel song, what's a song that you would like played at your funeral? You ought to know. You ought to know? <laughs> Alanis Morissette, you ought to know. Okay, get over here, that's yeah. amazing. Hell yeah. All right. Gab, my wonderful, wonderful board mistress. Is that a term, board mistress? It is now. Uh, do we, do we got those four? Ready. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need a lot of noise to make these guys yeah. sounds yeah. as welcome as possible. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. For our first wrestler, yeah. hit that first theme song. <laughs> our next, our first contestant for Words Unknown. I'm gonna let this be our introduction. <laughs> May I get your powerful name? Oh yes, I am Mother Mary, and I'm gonna <laughs> let it beat that ass all over that ring tonight! <laughs> Mother Mary, that sounds real passive and originally. <laughs> what brought you into uh, what brought you into this ass kicking? Oh, I've been kicking ass since I was just a little since I was just a little baby Mary, and then I was a little sister Mary, and then I was I was a little tween Mary, and then I was engaged Mary, and then I was a single Mary again, and then I was an engaged Mary again, and then I was a single Mary again, and then I was a mother Mary, and I was not married while I was a mother Mary, so it's been very confusing for me, but I've been kicking ass the whole time. Yeah! Oh, you pull us married as many times as I have. Uh, this worldwide has to do with the paternal suits I keep getting into. Anyway, <laughs> so what what do you want to do to uh, convince these folk that you're going to be kicking ass tonight? Yeah. Oh, oh. Have you ever been chased around your house by your mother while she held a plastic hanger? <laughs> That's right. That's my finishing move. It's called the Unmother Maker. Oh, yeah. shit! Yeah! yeah. Let me get this straight. So you hit them with the plastic hanger and then Unmother makes them. Sure, we'll go with that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mother Mary! Woo. Oh, yeah, but she's not alone. Mother Mary is not alone. In fact, she's got someone eyeing this title right here. Ooh. But who could they be? Wrestler number two! I'm so... I don't know if you guys understand what a pop is, but it's whenever it's a really loud thing at the beginning. You're all terrible. There we are! Wrestling, I just plow over everyone. <laughs> I'm, 
I don't think that's how wrestling is supposed to go. They're supposed to all survive by the end of this. Like, how did you learn to wrestle? Where did you learn? Cows. <laughs> cows. You, you learned wrestling from cows or you wrestled cows? Both. <laughs> They're good teachers. They're very patient. <laughs> now, for a cow, is that more of a strike thing or a grapple thing? How do you take down, what's the easiest way to take down a cow? With the cows, you just gotta, you kinda gotta sneak up and you take two hands and you just push them over while they're sleeping. But that's kinda cheating. So really it's just full body, just all your weight. And try that, see what happens. Oh, it sounds like none of you want to have your back to old Millie Ray over here. Because she'll be kicking your ass till the cows come home. Yeah, that's, that's the best you're going to be getting from this. I didn't come up with a gimmick, you gave me the song. Speaking of giving me the song, I think it's about time they gave you your next component. Component. Opponent. Opponent. Opponent number three. Sounds like that was real uncomfortable for your mother, Dory. Like, since conception, you've been dancing? Oh, yes. It she was uncomfortable. Oh! oh! Ladies and gentlemen, a dynasty! Oh, boy. Your flair and his daughter ain't got nothing on Dancing Dan and Mother Mary. Dancing Dan. <laughs> Definitely not my mother. Oh, well, you drove separately. That's, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I have my own car. It kind of dances down the down the road. Just, just moving on in. Yeah. What, what is the ultimate dance and Dan dance move? Is it a little of this? A little of this? <laughs> Woo! That shit's hot. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Woo! I'm excited. I can't wait to see you make moves here on this stage. But the three of you won't be the only ones making moves. Because there's a high wind coming in. In the shape of our last opponent. I got the word right that time. <laughs> Yeah, you, 
Get asked about my life, right? No, that's fine. All right. No, that's great. The job's great. I'm making almost thirty thousand dollars a year. Carol's uh, uh, great. Carol's doing great. Isn't that right, Carol? Isn't that right, Carol? You're doing great, right, Carol? Carol, I still love you. I want you to know that I still love you. Come back. <laughs> I'm fine! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Sounds like we've got a lot of personal problems we're bringing on here. To no the problems, deal. no problems. I'm okay. on cloud nine. I'm an angel. <laughs> Christ alive, the most sensible out of all of you is Millie Joe over here. <laughs> Millie Ray. Alright. So, very sane individuals on this stage right now. Oh! <laughs> we have three very <laughs> But here's what we're going to do. I think it's important to understand their worldview. So we are going to have all of you line up. Line up. God damn it, I just told you what to do. Line up. Line up. There's four chairs down there. How about you get those chairs for us? D I I, I, can't, I hurt my neck. That's why I'm a suit now. Jesus freaking Christ, Christ. I gotta do everything myself in my damn life. Get my chair for me. <laughs> Listen to your mother. <laughs> oh, shit. No, 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 that's fine. That's great. Just pass the audience. Oh my god. That'll prove Carol. Oh. I wish I could have given you all the chair. I hate you with. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some experts in the field of wrestling, and indeed life. We have farmers, lovers, bitches in one case. Now I need just some questions. Let's find out who these people really are. Who do you want to be your champion? Does anybody have a question or something that they're just trying to work out or work their way through in life right now here? Yeah. Why am I great till they gotta be great? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone have a real solid feeling for that one? <laughs> can, you, can you repeat that? No, I can't. Give, yes, it. Dude. Give it. Give it again. Okay. Repeat that. Why are men great until they gotta be great? Why are men great until they have to be great? Okay, hold on, hold on, okay. I hold on. You. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Carol. <laughs> Carol. I wake up. 10 p.m. every day. <laughs> I go to Subway. I'm there, usually for my full seven hours. Sometimes I usually just like smoke a little bit of weed in the back. Just a little bit. I don't know. I just buy it off some teenager. I don't know what it does to my brain. Carol, you don't need to be concerned about me. I want you back. <laughs> I want you back. Well, Liz, you take everything too seriously. Life's supposed to be fun. You should go out dancing. You should go out, go out buy a drink for someone. Yeah. You're a to your mom! <laughs> You're a disappointment, Dan. <laughs> but I'm fun. I'm a fun disappointment. Yeah! yeah. I'm a fun <laughs> disappointment! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Yeah!
from you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, anyone have a less depressing question for me to be asking these poor, pitiful champions? How many beers? How many beers? Beers? So glad. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you the mic. This cannot be about Carol. It's not about Carol, it's about me. It seems a lot like it's about Carol. And me. I'm a man, I'm manning up, give me the mic. <laughs> Enough beers, Carol. <laughs> Enough to fall asleep at night. <laughs> Dancing Dead, how many beers is fun? <laughs> 420. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Are you um, old enough to drink? Um, well, I, I mean, yes, but I was just going to say to you, I brew beer. It's pretty good. If you want some, I'd give you a discount. I only drink Steel Reserve. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is 69 beers. Yeah! That's how many you took to be conceived Disco Dan over there. <laughs> After this show, uh, I'm going to request everyone to draw a diagram of how you think 69 with beer works. Because <laughs> that's horrifying. Bottoms I think... up, my friend. Bottoms up. Son of a bitch. That's not how that works. Okay. I've had enough of you guys for advice. Let's see you guys work out. All right. We're going to put you through a bit of basic comedy wrestling training with a game that I'm calling Tag Me In. Now this is going to be very simple. I'm going to pick two of you to start a scene, and if one of you believes you can do better in that scene, you say tag me in and I will cycle you guys out until it just becomes a monotonous wave of noise and I get annoyed at the lot of you. Does that sound? And you're all suspiciously quiet at this point. It's, it's do you want me to do the beers now? <laughs> Specifically, you're the only one who has not been quiet. Everyone else I want to hear from. We don't have microphones, so I feel like we're not allowed to talk all the time. Oh shit, you're so polite. That's really good of you. <laughs> okay, so you're going first. Thank you, I was still from all the music last night. What'd you say? Dancing Dan and Millie Ray Tractor. <laughs> Let's get you started. This looks familiar, Carol. I'm being ignored again. Dan, <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck this up like you fuck up everything. <laughs> <laughs> this whole. That's how we got into this situation. This whole brand is going down the tubes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I can get a suggestion to get them started, I would like. Let's say, where is a location you would not want to go on vacation? Hell. Hell. <laughs> what was, I'm sorry, what was the other one that you said? Iran. <laughs> that same thing. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't know. Reagan? <laughs> Jesus. I told you, I was a wrestler in the 70s. I don't know any better. So we're going to say... <laughs> What's a good occupation? The devil. The devil in hell. Can you imagine? No. Okay. <laughs> you are in hell, and one of you, you are both trying to be the devil. I submitted my job application five weeks ago. You're not going to best me for this. I feel foolish. Listen, my family has owned this realm for generations, eternity. It's my rightful place to be the devil. Tag me in. Oh, All right, why do you want to tag it? I can be more of a pushover. <laughs> I believe you can tag in. <laughs> Here, take it. You're the freaking devil now. <laughs> tag me in. What you got? I'm a far better devil than my failure son! <laughs> okay, let's see your turn.
shots. <laughs> That's fucking right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what you're going to do for me? You're going to go out there and you're going to recruit all my little minions. Oh, uh, yeah, Dom me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Cut your promo, just do it. Hi, thanks. Oh. When I was 19 years old, Jesus. my dad <laughs> got me my first car. He said, look at this. It may be a Volkswagen, but it was the Volkswagen you were conceived in. <laughs> that was a special car, and I sold it for you, Carol! Yeah. Oh my gosh! I sold it so we can make bread! <laughs> just because I, I spent a lot of my money on booze and, you know, you know, like comic books and, like, I don't know, like, anime, like, it doesn't, it doesn't mean I'm a bad husband. I sold that car, and I'm gonna sell my soul if it means getting that belt and winning you back with it. Yeah! Yeah, yeah Carol, I love you, but I'm fine. Millie Ray Tractor. <laughs> Family name, or is that something you decide to figure out? What are you doing? Woo! Oh. 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 Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
You made that mistake. And I'm fucking here. Let me give you some words of wisdom. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs>